All right, so as always, we'll start off with the index and then work our way through the sectoral indices. And as always then, magsisimula muna tayo sa weekly chart and then we'll work our way down to the daily chart, no? Para lang mas makita natin yung buong bigger picture. Now, we were saying the last time that we discussed this na the price was trying to hold above tong 6.630 to 6.7 na area. Unfortunately, uh, on the close of this week, hindi na kinaya, no? Uh, we broke down once again beneath nitong 6638 na support and based on that candle we're looking at we might come back and tag at least yung low natin dito at 6380 okay kung mabasag tong 6380 then the likelihood is babalikan talaga natin yung support natin at 6000 okay now paano tayo magiging bullish ulit kapag ganito yung itsura ng chart I'll be very honest, no? It's not easy. Okay? Malaki yung kailangang bawiin uh, ng PSEI para masabi natin na mukha na ulit bullish tong index. And for me, it needs to reclaim yung 6, 9 to 7,000 pesos na area. If we can reclaim this area here and start holding above it, then maybe, no? Maybe my chance na at least heading into Q3, Q4, will be trading at the higher end of the range man lang sana. Diba? Para mabigyan ng opportunity na, alam mo yun, kahit sa Q3, we can trade dito sa higher end ng range. Maybe sa Q4, mabigyan ng chance na mabasag yung 7.5. Am I optimistic that that's going to happen? No. But, hindi ko pangungunahan yung market. Sino ba naman ako? Nagbabasa lang naman tayo ng chart. Hindi naman natin malalaman kung ano talaga ang mangyayari bukas, next week, next month. Diba? All we can do is anticipate na kung mangyari ngayon, ma-reclaim natin tong 6, 9 to 7,000. Then that's a bullish sign. But for now, that's a nangyayari. As long as we're beneath that, um, I am more bearish than bullish. And if we break beneath tong 6, 3, yun nga, I think the best na may expect na natin non for the remainder of Q2, Q3 uh, is either mag-range tayo sa wide range na to. At kung hindi mangyari yun, baka mabasag yung 6,000 altogether and we might come back and revisit tong 5-7 na area. Okay? Now, let's drill down to the daily time frame para lang mabasa natin with greater detail, no? So, as you can see, yung galaw talaga niya, yung like ko sinasabi, parang coloring book lang, we broke down, we came back up, tested tong area na to, di ba? Itong previous area of support, now turned resistance, na untog tayo. We broke down, price tried to hold, hindi kinaya, we broke back beneath tong 6638 na level. Now, from there, once again, we're watching out na, kasi kapag ganito, nabasag pa niya tong swing low natin from before at 6574, talagang it's giving the impression na it wants to go revisit tong low na to or revisit tong support eh. Diba? Either scenario, it's not good for us. Diba? At kung mabasag nga tong 62, diba? Wala to sa weekly chart natin. Yun na, yung 6,080 na nakita natin kanina. Now, again, uh, what we're seeing in the chart doesn't give great cause for optimism. Okay, right now, it's kahit dito eh. Tignan natin, kahit na yung mini pattern niya, uh, essentially, nag-form tayo ng parang head and shoulders pattern that we broke to the downside, binasag natin yung neckline. Diba? So, maybe it comes back, retest, tapos from there, lumaban, untog na naman, baba na naman tayo. Uh, that remains to be seen, no? Ang pinaka masasabi ko lang, based na naikita natin yun sa index, is konting ingat lang, guys. Hindi naman natin kailangan pilitin mag-trade, eh. Let's use this time, diba, na instead na maghanap tayo at magpumilit na makahanap nung matinde or makachamba ng isang trade here and there, let's use the time to study, diba, mag-research tayo ng mabuti, diba, kung, I mean, it's a shameless plug, but watch some of my trading lesson videos, or kung hindi sa, kung di man sa akin, ayaw nyo sa mga trading lessons ko, that's fine, no? Go watch and learn from other people. Diba? Para kung gumanda na ulit yung market conditions, and inevitable naman yun eh. Maybe it won't be soon, but eventually, gaganda at gaganda yung market conditions ulit eh. So kapag dumating yung punto na gumanda yung market conditions, at least, mas handa na kayo. Huwag lang yung basta, ah, pangit, di ako mag-trade. So, shut down. Walang tingin na ng chart. Hindi mag-aaral. Hindi manood ng videos. Hindi mag ng libro. Diba? It doesn't promote self-improvement eh. 
let's use this time na hindi natin kailangan maging sobrang busy mag-manage ng trades. Hindi natin kailangan maging sobrang busy na mag-aral or maghanap ng uh, trades here and there. Tingnan lahat ng chart. Let's use this time instead for something more productive. Let's update our journals. Let's study more. Diba? Let's talk to other traders. Let's take this opportunity na gumawa ng ibang bagay na mas makakatulong sa journey natin rather than just staring at charts na for the most part, wala namang pinupuntahang maganda. Next, tignan natin yung mining. No? So, the last time we talked about this, sabi natin it might come back and revisit yung resistance dito around 12.4 and it did, no? pero nag-reject siya. Diba? Bumalik tayo dito, nag-reject. So, it's looking like we might be forming a lower high here. And yung confirmation nun is if price comes all the way back and breaks beneath the swing low. Kapag nangyari yon, then for me, this is gonna look very, very bearish na. Uh, ang next level of support, obviously, will be 9.9. Diba? Maybe we trade within this range ng pang samantala, but uh, it's not gonna look bullish at all. Parang nasayang na kasi tong move up na to eh. Diba? So, konting ingat lang. Yes, compared sa ibang mga sectors, this is still looking better, but that doesn't necessarily mean that a trade is available here. Diba? Or that at grade A plus or yung uno diba? na trade ay present. So, konting ingat lang po. Let's see what happens next. Hopefully, we can reclaim tong 12.4 sooner rather than later para may chance na mabalikan natin tong 13.5 na area followed by 14.5 should that break. Uh, next, tignan natin yung financials. No? Now, yung financials, again, uh, we form some type of head and shoulders pattern here. Nabasag na yung neckline, though one could argue na dapat ito yung mabasag. I would be one of those people. Okay, but we can also say na yun nga, nabasag na yung neckline na yan. We broken down, came back, tested yung neckline, rejected, and now it's looking like we're pushing further to the downside. Now, etong 1,511 is yung key level natin dito sa financial. Siya yung inflection point natin eh. Meaning, it acted as support here. Resistance, resistance, and support. So, kung yan mabasag, yung next sa likely mangyari is babalik tayo sa previous range na to. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me kung bumak bumalik to dito tapos mag-trade tayo ng parallel. Parang kung ano yung itsura nito, magiging parang ganito rin yung itsura dito. Diba? It wouldn't surprise me at all if that happens. But kung nabasag tayo, Tapos, nabasag pa natin tong low ng range na to at 1,300. Then, this is likely gonna dig much deeper. Baka balikan natin tong mga lows na naiwan natin before. Now, again, para maging mas bullish ngayon, we need to come back at least and retake etong high na to at 1.7. If we can retake 1.7, that reopens the possibility na mabalikan natin yung 1.771. And if we can break that, maybe mabalikan tong 1.960. But for now, again, similar sa index, similar sa mining, it's not looking good, no? Uh, regardless of how you want to read the pattern, it's not looking good at all. So, konting iwas-iwas muna tayo unless meron kayo mga inaabangan at yung mga research levels nyo, mga valuation levels ng mga financial stocks. Then, of course, kung umabot doon, you go for the jugular. No? But for now, where it is, as well as yung mga stocks na under sa umbrella na to, uh, I would advise na konting patience muna, wait for things to play out before deciding to show your hand. Now, dito sa Indu, ah, uh, Technically speaking, wala namang ganun nangyari. No? Uh, when we last looked at this, nandito tayo sa candle na yan, ba? But we said na it was trading within the range of this green candle here. So essentially, nandun pa rin tayo sa range ng green candle na yon. But uh, if you want to look at each candle in succession, kung baga, what has been going on, if you zoom in, is we've been breaking beneath the low of each candle. So, it wouldn't surprise me kung from here, number one, we at least come back and tag yung support at around 8.9. Tapos, kung hindi mag-hold yun, mabasag, then likely, we revisit these lows here. Now, para maging bullish ulit, we need to see this take out tong 10,000 na level. If we can come back and start trading above 10,000, then magiging mas bullish ulit yung itsura ng chart. And it gives itself the chance na babalikan tong resistance area above between 10,9 and 11,1. Okay, but for where it is right now, um, again, if you zoom in, may kita natin, it just keeps breaking yung previous candles low. So it's not looking great as well.
Uh, next, tignan natin yung properties. No? Now, as we said, we were essentially trading within the range of this leg. Hindi nga natin nabalikan yung high end niya. So, we considered na it was possible na ito yung range na tinatrade natin. Then, these were overshoots here and here. Okay? Now, let me remove that so we can zoom in a bit. What happened? Since the last time we looked at it, Trinay umangat eh. Diba? Pero saan tayo na untog? Hindi ba doon din sa mga area of previous lows that we warned about in the previous video? Doon tayo na untog and nagkaroon ng napakalakas na rejection that we close beneath itong area of support na to that was holding these candles up for the past couple of weeks. Diba? In fact, for three weeks straight, lumalaban yan eh. Pero this week, binawi natin. Parang na-undo yung move. So, what can we look forward to next week, di ba? Ano yung dapat natin tignan? Kung mabasag tong low na to, then we're looking for price to possibly come back sa low ng week before or even all the way back dito sa level of support at 2.9 para maging bullish ulit. Kailangan ma-undo tong candle na to. Meaning, we need to start trading above 3.2 firmly right like something like that para magkaroon ng chance na babalikan natin yung high end ng range at 34 or even revisit tong overshoot na to and if we can break above that mabalikan natin yung 36 followed by 38 next tignan natin yung services no now price has come back do sa blue area na sinasabi natin before dun tayo initial na naghold and nakita ng magandang reaction diba the last time we talked about this we were hoping na it could start trading towards the high end of the range unfortunately what happened was we took out tong weekly swing low na to and then more or less bumalik na tayo dito sa blue area natin now does that mean na dapat mamili tayo that depends no Ideally, what we want to see, kahit sa lower time frames, is lumaban man lang tong area na to para magkaroon tayo ng konting kumpiyansa na, okay, mag-hold pa to despite the fact na tinest na siya dito. Kasi remember, when it first came down, malamang yung mga gustong mamili, namili na eh. Kaya nga umangat siya agad eh. Diba? So ngayon na bumalik tayo dito, mamimili pa rin ba sila ulit? We don't know. Okay? So, what we're looking to see is sa lower time frames, kahit sa daily or if you like, sa hourly or 4 hour, ganon, uh, maakita man lang tayo ng some type of bullish structure within this blue zone na pwede nating sandalan. Perhaps an inverse head and shoulders sa daily. Or perhaps something like mga favorite ng mga tao, mga uh, hammers or bullish engulfings, things like that. no? Para lang meron tayong uh, maayos na mapagsasandalan ng trade idea natin, meron tayong basis at makakakuha tayo ng trade na hopefully maganda yung risk reward. Okay, kasi because as is, pwedeng next candle nito, papasok tayo ng blue zone, then the next one, break na. Now, if this blue zone breaks altogether, uh, ang pinaka nakikita ko pwede mangyari is we come back, retest somewhere within the same zone, magkakaroon tayo ng rejection, then we might come back and revisit tong 1633 followed by 15. Now, Para maging bullish tayo ulit, just holding here isn't enough. At most, ang tinitingnan ko doon is for potential bounce place. Para maging bullish, we need to retake itong 1.9 na area and start holding above it once again para mag-open up yung possibility na yun nga, mabalikan natin yung high end ng range na sa taas, papuntang 2,000. So that's the hope, no? But do I see that happening immediately in the next few weeks? No, but again... The market has proven me wrong over and over again, over the, over time, no? So I'm hoping to be wrong. But based purely from technicals, it's not looking too good. Bounce place could be there para sa mga stocks within this sector. But other than that, I don't think na makakakuha tayo ng kubaga para sharp reversal from here tas biglang lilipad. Uh, I honestly don't think so, no? But again, Keep your wits about you. Stick to your own research. Stick to your own system. Pag may nakita naman kayo, basta nandun tayo sa magandang area, di syempre, go for it. But honestly, for me, I just don't feel like uh, malakas tong area na to pa. Kasi yun nga, yung mga bibili, odds are nakabili na sila dito. And then finally, tignan natin yung holdings. No? Now, tong holdings, uh, pababa tayo nun, di ba? Sabi natin, we broke beneath this level. We came back, tag tong support. Diba? Then we bounce. Then the last time we looked at it, ang sabi natin, it could easily reject from these levels here. And it did. Bumitin siya ng konti, but we came back up, tas nag-reject tayo dito sa area of previous support. 
Diba? Nag-reject tayo. Now, we're looking to drive lower. And we might revisit tong 5,850 area before it's said and done. Now, when it revisits here, whether or not we hold remains to be seen. Kasi, similar sa index, there's still the hope na sana mag-trade tayo dito sa wider range na to. Mabigyan na opportunities both investors and traders to come in. But, kung mabasag altogether tong 5,850 na area, I don't think na maganda yung magiging kahihinatnan, no? Walang papasok. So, baka ang mangyari nun is ma-revisit natin tong mga lows na naiwan natin from before. Now, para maging bullish, again, we need to come and retake tong 6-7 na area. If we can start trading above this, then that opens up the possibility na babalik na tayo dito sa range above, di ba? Parang ito yung higher end ng range, ito yung lower end ng range. So, para magkaroon ng chance na babalikan natin yan, we need to at least retake tong halfway point. I realize na hindi to perfect halfway point, no? But it's more or less within that level. So, we need to retake that area para masabi natin na, uy, baka bumalik tayo sa range dito sa taas na to. And we can look forward to more bullish moving forward. But for now, ingat lang. Basta kung nabasag yung 5850, then watch mode tayo. Again, kung meron kayong mga inaabangan na valuation levels, mag-abang-abang na. Alright? But other than that, wag po nating ipilit kasi it's not looking good as well. Hopefully, sana nga, mag-hold tong support, mag-range tayo. But let's be prepared for the worst and hope for the best. So guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin, no? I hope nakatulong po to sa inyo kahit konti and may natutunan kayo kahit papano. And if so, I would really appreciate it if you give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel. And as always guys, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading!